friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. It is Wednesday, so that means it is what I eat in a day Wednesday. So I have such a fun video for you guys today. We've got food, we've got diesel and Lola. I'm going to show you a couple of new things. I got my Sips by Tea subscription box, so I wanna show you that. And you guys, I found an amazing, and I mean amazing flat iron that I cannot wait to share with you guys and it is a killer price. So there is a lot of fun stuff coming your way in this week's What I Eat in a Day. So if you wanna join me today, stay tuned. <music> I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, yeah, you make me smile. You're the solution. You are, you are, you are, you are. So here's my breakfast for this morning. I am so excited. I've been trying to eat a little less processed food. We're gonna talk about that in an upcoming video, but with that being said, I am trying to have a more substantial, maybe a little bit higher smart point breakfast so that I'm not as hungry throughout the day, especially on days that I work out. So what I have here is one honey crisp apple, and then I'm having a container of my Siggy's Strawberry 0% Milk Fat Yogurt. Great ingredients in this yogurt, and it's really delicious. And then I went ahead and made myself a slice of avocado toast. So what I have is one slice of the Trader Joe's sourdough bread. You guys know I love this. You can see it's frozen. I just buy it and throw it in the freezer. And then I pull out a piece as needed. And then I have two smart points worth of avocado, one hard boiled egg. And then I topped it with the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I have a huge cup of water. This is my second cup of water today. So I'm doing well. So let's go through the points for my breakfast. My apple is zero. My yogurt is three, my Trader Joe's bread is two, my avocado is two, and my egg is two. So my toast is six smart points, my yogurt is three, so this is a nine smart point breakfast. Hi, how are you? Hi baby, oh yes, a good doggy. Yes, that's a good girl. Are you being a good dog? Hi baby. Hi. Hi, I love you. How are you? Diesel? Hey, buddy. Shake mama. Shake. Shake. Oh, good boy. Are you cozy? Yeah, you're cozy. Yes, you are. It is morning snack time. It's about 10 o'clock. That breakfast kept me full really long. So I'll be having a little bit later lunch today, but I am going to have my coconut almond built bar. You guys, this is a mat. This is an almond joy. Legit, it has flakes of coconut, chunks of almonds, and it is only three smart points. It is a candy bar, chocked full of 130 calories, 18 grams of protein, seven fiber, only three sugar and five fat. You cannot beat this for three smart points. It is satisfying, it is absolutely delicious. All of the Bilt Bars are three smart points, except most of the nut ones. So your peanut butter is four points, and they just, brought back permanently in a full-size bar the toffee almond that one is amazing that one is four smart points as well all of the other bars are three so definitely check out built bar my code here on the screen will save you 10 percent and give you free shipping write it down because you can use it over and over it does not expire so this is going to be my three smart point absolutely delicious morning snack you guys smart sweets 2.0 or 3.0 has arrived. I am so excited about the changes that Smart Sweets has made to their candy. So, if you're not what if you're not aware of what Smart Sweets are, essentially these are bags of gummy candy. So, they are a little over an ounce per bag. They have sour bears, fruity bears, so these are your gummy bears, peach rings, my favorite, sweet fish, which are like Swedish fish, and then sour blast buddies, which are like 
uh, the Sour Patch Kids. So what's great about these is they only have three grams of sugar. They also are plant-based and they do not use any sugar alcohols. So there was a little controversy over a couple of things about Smart Sweets. One was that they use carrageen, which is a seaweed derived product that is not good for your body. And they also used a fiber that supposedly affected your GI index and raised your blood sugar. So people that followed a low carb diet or even people that were sensitive to those ingredients wouldn't eat the smart sweets. So they listened to us and they have reformulated their smart sweets. And now what they use as far as sweetener is they strictly use allulose as their sweetener. It is a non-artificial sweetener. I'll tell you guys all about allulose, but I want to show you the nutritional label. So they are a little bit more calories. They used to range 80 to 90 calories per bag. The smart points are exactly the same. They are still three smart points per bag. They're still gluten-free, non-GMO, and free from sugar alcohols. There's no artificial colors or sweeteners. And you guys, they really are a fabulous product. But here is what's changed as far as the smart sweets go. So the net carbs, if you are someone that follows a low carb diet. The net carb on these are 10 per package. I believe before they were eight. So the net carbs has went up because of allulose. But let's talk first a little bit about what is allulose. So it's a non-artificial sweetener found in nature. So it's in figs and raisins and it has zero GI impact on your body. It doesn't react with your digestive enzymes and it passes through your body without being converted to simple sugar. So it's great for someone who follows a low carb diet or if you want as close to a natural sugar as you can have in a package, allulose is great. So the peach rings here, they have eight grams of allulose per bag, but since it isn't absorbed by the body, you subtract it along with the fiber and that's how you come up with 10 net carbs. Now on WW, we don't watch our carbs, but it's still good to know that they've chosen something that our body processes and does not spike our blood sugar. So basically Smart Sweets 3.0 is the leader in the kick sugar campaign. They've spent over a thousand hours to formulate this new product. They listened to us, they took action, and they seized the opportunity to say hello to allulose and always stay away from the added sugars, the artificial flavors, and sugar alcohol. So no more Karen GN, no more fiber that is questionable. So basically they listened to us and they came out with a far superior product. So I'm excited. I will let you guys know that I've tried all of the flavors with the allulose. And I think that the texture is even better than it was before. Their starch is different. Uh, or I'm sorry, their fiber is different and their sugar is different. So it just makes it a little bit less chewy and just soft and delicious. They really truly are, in my opinion, better than the old version of the Smart Sweet. So highly recommend you guys giving these a try. You can order these off of their website. My code here on the screen will give you free shipping. So check them out and way to go Smart Sweets for creating a healthier version. So here is my lunch for today. I'm so excited. It is 12:30. So what I have here is I have five Smart Points worth of french fries. I just cooked these in my air fryer. I also have three of the chicken skewers from Costco. I will insert a picture here because they're gone. The package has been thrown away. And on my chicken skewers, I have zero points worth of the French's honey mustard. I love that just drizzled over those skewers. It's so good. And then I have one cup or one serving of the Great Value Organic Steamable California Blend. And then I've got some left over. I'll just have those with dinner tonight and I just added a little bit of spray butter salt and pepper and then for dessert I have a sugar-free vanilla pudding cup with 13 Lily's chocolate chips which are zero points and the pudding cup is two my fries are five points so that makes seven my veggies are zero my chicken skewers are one point for three which is amazing so that makes this a five six seven eight eight smart point lunch including dessert you guys, I have to have to share this with you. I got this curling wand and I am literally, literally in love. Not only is it pink, which hello, that's just an automatic love, but this thing works incredibly. So I'm gonna pop in some pictures of my hair curled with this and my hair straight. You guys, this curling wand is a 
amazing. So I wanted to show you, this is how it comes packaged. Let me pull it out and let's talk about it. All right, so here's what it looks like. They normally are black and silver, but for Valentine's Day, Duval came out with this fun pink, which I love. And then they it comes with the glove as well so that you don't burn yourself when you're curling your hair. So I have the 32 millimeter. They also have a 25 millimeter. And that is just the size of the barrel for curling your hair. But this is so awesome, you guys. My curls come out like beachy waves. I used to do it with my flat iron, and now I'm just loving this wand, and I'm using this to curl my hair. It also gets rid of frizz and flyaways. It is seriously, absolutely amazing. So, this wand I find easy to use. You just turn it on, it heats up within about 30 seconds, and you just twist your hair around it, and in no time at all, you have beautiful beachy waves, and it doesn't do that damage to your hair because you don't keep it on your hair very long. I do not use the glove. I should because I've actually burnt myself a couple of times, but I truly, truly love this curling wand. It is 70% off right now. Down in the description box is a link. If you click the link, it will give you 70% off of the curling wand. There is a code that you have to enter at checkout for the 70% off. It is not an affiliate link. I do not receive any money for showing you guys this wand. They sent me the wand to try, and this is my honest review. You guys, I love, love, love it. They actually have the smaller one, and they also have a flat iron, and I think I'm gonna be buying all the products because because for the price of this wand, it is around $20 with the 70% off. That's cheaper than the store. And this, you guys, is over a $100 wand. So I love it. Highly recommend. If you're looking for a curling wand that gives you those beachy curls, highly, highly recommend. Again, I inserted some pictures so you could see my hair straight and once I've used this wand. But again, you guys, I'm loving it. So I'm having an afternoon snack and I made a smoothie. You guys, this is so delicious. It is like tropical paradise in your mouth. It is so good. So here's what I put in my smoothie. So I use the Quest protein powder because I am out of the Devotion Angel Food cake and I wanted to use this up before I ordered another container. You guys know Devotion's my all-time favorite. This is second runner up to that. I buy this off of the Protein Wise website. It's almost gone. So as soon as it's gone, I'm going to restock my Devotion Angel Food Cake. Again, I do prefer Devotion over Quest, but this, it was in my pantry, so I'm using it up. And if you're interested in Devotion, I do have 10% off. The link is down in the description box below for you guys. So I would recommend Devotion, but if you are interested in Quest, it is on the Protein Wise website. It is one point for one scoop. And then I used one point's worth of the Kroger Carb Master Milk. This is basically regular milk. I like it much better in my smoothies than almond milk. And then for my fruit, I use my Wawana Smoothie Singles, these organic smoothie singles from Costco, you guys. Obsessed. So this is what it looks like. There are six of these big bags of frozen fruit. It is pure organic fruit. Peaches, pineapples, strawberries, grapes, and passion fruit. So what I do generally is use about half of a bag in my smoothie, and then that way I'm getting two smoothies per bag. So I'm really getting 12 smoothies out of this bag, and it was $10. So love it. I do not count blended fruit. So my protein shake smoothie is two smart points, one for the milk and one for the Quest protein powder. And then I'm going to have one of my chicken sticks from Costco. I'll insert a picture for you guys like right there of what the packaging looks like because we threw it away. But this entire chicken stick is only two smart points. So I'm going to have that for two and my protein shake for two. So this is a four smart point snack. My February teas are here. You guys are loving seeing the fun teas that come in my Sips by subscription service. So again, when you get your teas each month, it comes in this really cute box. It's just so well done. And then there is this paper here that walks you through the teas that you received for the month. And then all of your teas are in your box. So let's take a look at this first. Your teas are custom made for you based on your preferences that you select when you take their online quiz. And then that way, if there are certain teas that you don't want, whether it be a flavor of tea or a caffeine, level of tea you can select that in the little quiz and they won't send that to you so they do tailor the tea specifically to you so for February in my box it looks like I got a vanilla cream spice okay that sounds really really delicious and that is a caffeine free tea I also got a 
lemon green tea, which is low caffeine, which is great because I do like to have a cup of tea at night. It curbs my little sweet tooth that I get after dinner and it's zero point. So I do like to have a hot cup of tea at night. So zero or low caffeine is great. And then during the day, I stick with the high caffeine teas like this Republic Chai and also this Stardust blend. Ooh, that sounds delicious. So let me pull these bags out and we'll go over what I received and what's in the teas. So oh, here are my teas, you guys. I'm so excited for this Stardust one. But let's start here. This is the Lemon Green Tea by IE Green Tea. You guys, this is liquid. It is a pre-brewed condensed green tea. So it's literally a liquid in this package. So what is in this tea is green tea, purified water, lemon extract, citrus, citric acid and stevia so this is a low caffeine tea this is so awesome so this packet makes 16 to 20 ounces of green tea by just adding it to hot or cold water i am super excited about this this is something i would say for the warmer months it would be great to have this as an iced tea and it's already done you literally add it to cold water drop in some ice cubes and you have a really good good for you green tea it is an organic one and then this is the vanilla cream spice. This is a caffeine free tea. Again, an organic tea, which I love Sip Spy, usually sends organic, which is amazing. This one, it has barley, interesting, cinnamon, chicory root, chamomile, carob, rubios, and then some natural flavoring. So this is a vanilla cream spice, caffeine free. This is a great dessert alternative. And then over here we have my Republic Chai, which is a high caffeine tea. This tea has black tea, cinnamon, orange peel, ginger, cardamom, Chinese star anise, cloves, and black pepper. That sounds really good. This is not an organic tea, by the way. This one is not. And then this, you guys, how fun is this? Can you guys see those sprinkles? So fun. So this is a loose leaf tea. So every time they send you a loose leaf tea, they send you the little bags to brew your tea in, which is awesome. So Stardust Tea is high caffeine. It has black tea, vegan sugar stars, blueberry, kiwi, orange peel, natural peach flavoring, and blue luster dust. Um, Okay, how fun is this? This is a David Bowie inspired tea. So that is so fun. And it is high caffeine, so it's great to steep for a little boost during the day. So that's what I got this month from Sip Spy. Again, you can pick this up, monthly tea subscription service. My code here on the screen gives you $5 off of your first box. It is not an affiliate link. I do not receive any commission. It's just $5 off for you guys. And I love to share my teas with you, and you guys love seeing these two great subscription service if you love tea and you want just something different teas that you can't always find locally so highly recommend sips by for tonight's dinner we are going to be making ground beef goulash this brings me back to my childhood i'm so excited for this recipe so let me show you what is in tonight's dinner first you're going to need some soy sauce minced garlic pasta of course i'm using my very favorite fiber gourmet pasta you guys i highly recommend that you add this to your must-haves on ww they make an elbow a spaghetti a rotini and a penne there is 19 grams of fiber and eight grams of protein in one serving of this pasta so not only does it keep you full but the taste and texture is so delicious and the best part is you can have two ounces for only three smart points it's the only pasta we have in our house we do not buy pasta other than fiber gourmet we both absolutely love it you can find this on the netrition website there is a link down below click the link and it'll bring you right to the website and you can search all of the hundreds of ww products but definitely definitely add this to your cart best pasta ever also we'll be using some healthy request tomato soup salt and pepper 96.4 extra lean ground beef parmesan cheese velveta shreds an onion and a green pepper so let's get started on tonight's dinner so the first thing that we need to do is chop up both our green pepper and our onion i'm just going to add them here to the same bowl because they are added to our ground beef at the same time and then we will get our ground beef started can't stop thinking about your day and night love it when you kiss me love it when we touch every time i'm down here yeah, you make me smile you're the solution So 
next we're gonna go ahead and get our ground beef browning here on the stove. Once it starts to brown, we are gonna go ahead and add in our veggies and our garlic. When your ground beef is just about all the way cooked through, I went ahead and added a big scoop of my minced garlic. I'm gonna give it a quick stir just until that garlic becomes fragrant and then we're gonna add in our veggies. Next up are chopped up onions and green pepper. By the way, I only chopped up half of that green pepper per the recipe and just put the other half in my refrigerator. And then we're also going to be adding in just a pinch of pepper. And then we're also going to add in just a pinch of salt. And we're gonna pop the lid on this and let this simmer for about 20 minutes. I lied. Before we put the lid on, we are going to be adding in our can of our Healthy Request tomato soup. And then we are also going to refill this can and add that same amount of water and three tablespoons of our soy sauce. So I'm just gonna kind of wing that. The recipe calls for soya sauce. I'm not really sure what that is and I couldn't find it at my store. So I'm substituting just a soy sauce. So I am gonna go ahead and add in a full can of water, then put the lid on and let it simmer for 20 minutes. You guys are already steamy. This is looking and smelling so good, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my package of Fiber Gourmet. Stir that up really well, and we're just gonna let this simmer on the stove for about another 15 minutes or until our pasta is soft. You can always add in some additional water if you feel like it's sucked up all the water getting the pasta soft. So not an issue at all to add in just a little bit more water, but we're gonna let this simmer on the stove about another 15 minutes. All right, our goulash is done. The noodles are nice and soft. There's really no liquid left once the noodles are soft. I did end up adding about three quarters of a cup of water to finish cooking the noodles. And then in my measuring cup here, I have one cup of Velveeta shreds and I have one cup of Parmesan cheese. So what I'm going to do is just spread that evenly over the top of the goulash, let that melt down. Do not stir. Go ahead and serve it directly with the cheese melted right on top. And this makes six servings. So I'll go ahead and get mine plated up and I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you all of the smart points. And here is tonight's dinner. So I have one sixth, it makes six servings for the goulash and one sixth of the recipe. This is a lot. It's seven smart points on all three plans. If you do opt for a zero point pasta on purple, it drops it down to five smart points. But that's a lot of goulash for seven points. And then I just paired that with some leftover California blend from earlier today with spray butter, salt, and pepper. So this is going to be a seven smart point dinner. What's happening? What is it? Well, what is it? <gasps> Diesel, is Daddy home? Is he home? Laura, <laughs> it's okay. Is he here? Yay, he's here! <laughs> oh yeah, everyone's excited. So here's my dessert for tonight. This is what I've been talking about on a bunch of my videos is this strawberry shortcake dessert. So what it is, is it's one of these vanilla dessert shells. I picked these up at Walmart. You get all four for a dollar and I threw a bunch of them in the freezer. So they are three smart points. I heard that they make a sugar-free one, but my particular Walmart does not carry that. That one is three smart points or is one smart point. So the regular one that I'm having is three. And then I just have some fresh strawberries and some fat-free Ready Whip. So this is a four smart point strawberry shortcake dessert. Thank you for joining me on this week's What I Eat in a Day on Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my food throughout the day, Diesel and Lola, that flat iron. You guys, what a fantastic deal. That is less than you can buy one in the store, and this one is spectacular. I have dry, coarse hair, very thick, and this thing works wonders. I am in love. Also, if you're interested in Sip Spy, don't forget about the $5 off down in the description box. Also in the description box is the recipe for tonight's delicious dinner and the discount codes and links to all of the things 
I can save you some money on. And last but not least in that description box is the link to my Facebook group. We would love it if you would come and join us. It is so fun, you guys. It is such a supportive, wonderful community. So head on over and join us there. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to what I eat in a day. Welcome to my channel. I'd love to have you stick around. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed what I shared with you today. And of course, I love reading your comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. What's it like to be the one that he turns